drives. A drive is a circuitry of combination of motor and control unit to get desired output. So it consisting of a motor as well as power semiconductor device as well as the control techniques which we have seen already in previous videos. The purpose of this drive is to get the desired output which is nothing but this controlled speed or speed control. So we have two types of drives that is DC drives and AC drives. DC drives which is going to consisting of DC motors and the AC drives consisting of DC motors. DC motors have variable characteristics and are used extensively in variable speed drives. DC motors can provide high starting torque and it is also possible to obtain the speed control over a wide range. The method of speed control are normally simple and less expensive than that of the AC drives. DC motors plays a significant role in modern industrial drives. Both series and separately excited DC motors are normally used in variable speed drives, but series motors are traditionally employed for traction applications. Due to the competitor, DC motors are not suitable for very high speed applications and requires more maintenance than that of AC motors. The controlling part. The control rectifiers provide a variable DC output voltage from a fixed AC voltage. Whereas choppers can provide a variable DC voltage from a fixed DC voltage. Due to their adaptability to the supply, a continuously variable DC voltage controlled rectifiers and DC choppers made a revolution in modern industrial control equipment and variable speed drives with power levels ranging from fractional horsepower to several megawatts. Control rectifiers are generally used for speed control of a DC motor. DC drives are classified into three types single phase drive, three phase drive, and third one is chopper drives. So an AC supply is given to a controlled rectifier and this is given to a motor. This AC supply is given to a controlled rectifier to a chopper and then given to a motor. So the CR is the control rectifier, CH is a chopper. The control of DC motor requires providing a variable DC voltage which can be obtained from a DC chopper and control rectifiers. These voltage controllers are simple and less expensive. DC motors are relatively expensive and require more maintenance due to the bushes and commutators. However, DC drives are used mainly in industrial applications. AC motors exhibit high coupled non-linear and multivariable structure as opposed to much simple decoupled structures of separately excited DC motors. The control of AC drives generally requires complex control algorithm that can be performed by microprocessors and microcomputers along with the fast switching power converters. The AC motors have a number of advantages. They are lightweight that is 20 to 40 percent lighter than the equivalent DC motors and inexpensive have low maintenance compared to the DC motors. They require control of frequency, voltage, current for variable speed applications. The power converters, inverters and AC voltage controllers can control the frequency, voltage and or the current to meet the drive requirements. These power controllers which are relatively complex and more expensive required advanced feedback control techniques such as model reference, adaptive control, sliding mode control and field oriented control. However, the advantage of AC drives outweighed the disadvantages. There are two types of DC motors that is induction motor drive and synchronous motor drive. Here we require power converters, inverters, voltage controllers, as well as cycloconverters to control the voltage, currents and the frequencies to control the speed of the AC motor. This is regarding the drives. If this video is useful, please like, share and subscribe.